Hey guys, Long Night Entertainment here. I'm Mycosa. I'm very tired. My nose is a little crooked because I'm a little poofed. That hurt my nose. Uh, I just got off of a long day of work. I've got some of Orion recorded that I'll be editing up tomorrow morning to get updated. Uh, not too much else to talk about, so again, I'll be pointing out a few links here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. was uh, following some stuff by Team Four Star and they just put up a new video of uh, Final Fantasy 7 Machine Abridged always good stuff enjoyed that, I enjoy their abridged stuff I'm looking forward to what's going to be coming out tomorrow though I've been following uh, Ruby and Dragon Ball Super and you know I don't know how many of you follow Dragon Ball Super. Just to give a little rant here, but I, I have a I have a complaint. Okay, I know different people have their complaints about the show. Maybe the art's different, maybe the maybe you don't like the direction it's been taken, maybe you don't like Jiren. I d I don't know. But I have a very simple complaint. And it stems from something I actually like about the show. So, okay. High speed for you, for those of you who follow Dragon Ball Z, but didn't follow Dragon Ball Super. It's established in the Dragon Ball series that there is a god of destruction that's sort of the counter Kami. He's more powerful than the Supreme Kai's, but if you kill the Supreme Kai, you kill the god of destruction. They're tied, they're linked, and they're selected by this angel guide. It's a hereditary thing, they work together. These angels work for a supreme sort of king of all, an omni-god. And there are 12 universes. Everything we've been seeing in Dragon Ball Z takes place in Universe 7. And there's this whole thing going on, a tournament of power, where the losers, their universe gets erased. Stakes are high. I'm not going to go into that. There's interaction with Universe 6. Apparently they're pretty close to Universe 7 in a lot of ways. And they have Saiyans. Okay. But in their universe, they were peaceful. They never became Planet Vegeta. They stayed a planet salad. They're still named after vegetables. Okay. And because they are not an entire race of hyper-violent martial artist bodybuilders on space steroids. <laughs> Unlike, say, Goku or Gohan, Trunks, Vegeta, Nappa, Brawly, any of the other Saiyans that you see from Universe 7, they're all thin, wiry, scrappy, kind of like a artwork, kind of like from a, a Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior, if you would, uh, which makes sense. Uh, Akira Toriyama did the artwork for that. Now he's famous for three series, uh, the Dragon Ball series, the Dragon Quest series, and Chrono Trigger. Awesome stuff. Seriously. Good stuff. But he he here's, 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 where my, here's where my complaint comes in. So we get introduced to three of Universe 6's Saiyans. There's Kaba, who's this uh, young man, small, scrappy, wiry. And Vegeta kind of takes him under his wing. He turns Super Saiyan, even Super Saiyan 2. Golden hair, the blue eyes, but still small and scrappy. Still wiry. I like the change. It reflects the difference of the people. I like it. And then we meet Khalifla. Cauliflower. And she is this small, cute, scrappy, bouncy, brawler type. And when she turns Super Saiyan, again, the blonde hair and still small and cute and scrappy, and it's... I like it. I like the style. And she has a sister named Kale. And when she turns Super Saiyan... Oh, so, so that's where your race put all your muscles. All of them. All of their muscles. It's like, little Khalifla. Little Kaba. Curl. She makes Goku look like Bulma in terms of muscles. 
and she's the only Universe 6 Super Saiyan who does that. I don't understand. It doesn't... It doesn't... I, I'm, like, watching them on screen. It's like... One of these things is not like the others. Oh, well. So I'm gonna... I'm, I've, I've ranted. Apparently there's no explanation for it. It's not like she's from Universe 7 and just found her way there. Not that we know of, anyway. I, I, I wish I could say they were taking it somewhere, but I think she's just supposed to be their version of Brawly. And they decide to make her uber buff to, to go with it. For no reason. It just looks strange. Not because I have anything against burly women. Whatever. It's just that she's the only one. Khalifla's put in the training and power. Doesn't make a difference. Small, scrappy, bouncy, and cute. Kaba, he put in the training and power. Small and scrappy and adorable. And Kale put in the power and training. I have all of the monsters. What the heck? <laughs> oh well. In any event, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Avorion episode. Seems people have been liking it. So in any event, thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, give the like button a boop. And as always, thank you all for what Telephone. Thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.